We'll see Cherokee Young on the second leg and a thing Mo on the anchor. From the inside, it's USC, Kentucky, then Texas A&M and Arkansas. USC starts off with Bailey Lear, the junior, Kentucky, Megan Moss, the sophomore. And we've already mentioned Jania Martin for A&M and Paris Peoples for Arkansas. That's a good start on the inside for USC. Bailey Lear putting the hammer down here early. So it's USC with Arkansas challenging on the outside. AM in third and Kentucky in the blue in fourth. Well, Bailey Lear doing a good job of keeping everybody who are outside, making them go the long way around. USC will pass first, then Arkansas. And AM right there. Everybody's still in it. That's Abby Steiner on second leg for Kentucky. She tied the collegiate record in her 200 meter victory. 52.75 for that first leg for USC. This is Morgan Burks McGee for the Razorbacks on second leg. Cherokee Young for AM. And Jantaja Ford for USC. Like to see Abby Steiner out there. She's a short sprinter specialist, but to see these athletes move up, you've got to be a you've got to be a good sprinter at, at all different distances. So AM into the lead, and they will pass first. It'll go from Cherokee Young to Tierra Robinson Jones. USC gets the baton second. They're running Nicole Yergen. 50-97 for Texas A&M on that fine and that last leg. That was Cherokee Young. Tiana Wilson running for Arkansas on the third leg. And for Kentucky, it's, it is Masai Russell. They're all very tightly bunched. The top four teams on time coming into these championships, battling it out in this final event of the NCAA Indoor Championships. Nicole Jurgen won her heat in the open 400 meters, but it just wasn't fast enough to get her through. She just missed out on a final. AM and USC battling it out up front. Arkansas right behind him, and Kentucky is also in there. But look, USC. Who we look who we got anchoring here. A Ting Mo is going to anchor for AM, but they get the stick second. USC will anchor Kaylin Roberts. Shafiqua Maloney, who scored a th third place finish in the 800, anchoring for the Razorbacks. 52 08 for the third leg for USC, and here's Kaylin Roberts. The winner of the 400 meters earlier tonight. And Mo just shifts gears and glides past Roberts in that home stretch. Now she's in full flight. I don't think anybody's going to catch a Ting Mo. Roberts just won't give up. And Maloney with that 800 meter strength, keeping it close for Arkansas in third. Mo is going to win it for the collegiate record holding Texas A&M Aggies. USC holds on for second. Arkansas third. Kentucky will finish fourth. 326 68. They just missed their own collegiate record by about four, one, four tenths of a second. 49 54 for a Ting Mo and a new meet record for Texas A&M. They do break USC's meet record from four years ago. Well, the two 400-meter first and second placers battling it out on the anchor for their teams, and Ting Mo just made a move up that finishing stretch with a lap to go and never looked back. Well, I think she wanted a little bit of redemption. She didn't run the smartest race in the open, but here in the relay, she stays clear and she opens things up and puts in a decisive victory for the Texas A&M Aggies. So missing their own collegiate record, but they get the meet record. A&M finishes with a victory in the 4x400 over USC and Arkansas.